start talking in the show, so. Oh, yeah, so we do, yeah, we end up to start talking. That's how oh, we wait, start. Oh, wait, is it starting going? Oh, okay, so, yeah. Are we starting <laughs> Oh, we're not going to, oh, okay, I was wondering what that was yeah, going on. If there's on. anything yeah. you said in the beginning that you yeah, went off yeah, record, we go ahead. Yeah, probably yeah. all that. Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably all, no, all that. that. No, all that. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to give out everybody's, like, prices and no. stuff. Oh, 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 no, no, yeah, okay, no, no, Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't press the button and everything. Oh, yeah. That Are you going to clap? Check, oh, check. Check it a check. We don't go fucking crazy. It was like, welcome yeah. to Drinking Bros. So you've, been, you've been on the Drinking Bros like, where they're like, welcome to Drinking Bros. Yeah. And, and then we don't, everyone's we don't like, do that okay, hand. I guess we need to start. I guess we start. Whereas here, it sounds like this joint in the just conversation. Start talking. Right? <laughs> right? And obviously, we're not going to put in all that stuff you just talked about. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, okay. I did like where you were kind of explaining... Uh, not price wise, but what mm. guys have to do to make a little bit more money in um, the porn industry. Yeah. yeah, and then one of the porn stars that was here, Katie Cush, mm-hmm. she, um, she's new. She said something about there being a trans issue, and she she was like, "Don't." But she's like, ask "I can't me. talk about it though." <laughs> Yeah, and that was uh, that was it. So we were like, oh, okay. So maybe you can't talk I, I about it. I love that we're doing that. There's a huge issue. I can't say anything. About but I can't it. say <laughs> that's what she did. And she was like, one thing you can't ask me about. Don't you dare. This is right? a big deal. <laughs> Working with trans <laughs> performers, and I was like, oh, well, now I fucking want to ask. Now I want to know. <laughs> yeah, like, but so I guess well, no one can talk about it. If people it. don't know, we are here today. I think with that's going to be like one of our best episodes. Obviously. So, <laughs> so no by pressure. the way, because no. I said that, you guys have to fucking perform. Make this is the best episode. Right? So this is going to be the best episode. Here's the we're, life. We're Give here with Heather Lynn. The amazing Heather Lynn. And... Top the, bitch, you've been around yeah, forever. The oh, fucking yeah. awesome Charlie Classic. Oh, what's up, guys? Dude, we're so happy to have you guys here. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to be here. I know. We heard this is like the the dynamic duo. Oh, yeah. Yes. Besties for life, that you man. Had. Oh, yeah. You can yeah, never I, leave. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here's the duo that we heard is you guys get into some some fun trouble together. Sure. Yeah, I think I think our whole thing is like we'll write out skits and do these funny skits, but I think people just enjoy more of us interacting with each yeah. other mm-hmm. because our snapchat videos that it's just us goofing off get all you know get 37 40 million views isn't that crazy it, yeah. and it's just us being ourselves yeah. so it's yeah. weird but it's to me funny which is why yeah. it's like naturally funny though it doesn't yeah. seem like you're trying you're too trying hard. To, it, right? it helps that she's funny looking so that helps me <laughs> oh, you guys <laughs> rude <laughs> you. she's gorgeous and we all know it's true <laughs> but when you do the thing with your eyes Oh yeah, you can make your. Oh my god, yeah, I kind of have a bit of a lazy eye too. Sometimes I've noticed no, that don't. in my videos lately. I'm like, oh my god, I shouldn't go in public. <laughs> oh, see, you only you would notice that though, because I don't think anyone else I does. Haven't people notice it? Have you? No, oh, I okay. It. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I haven't. They're people like, will oh. make comments, right? Oh, yeah. They'll let you know all. You could just let you know. You could just say, be flaws. like, oh no, I don't have a lazy eye. This side of my face is just sleepy. Right, you know? and you go completely cross-eyed. No, you need to make them yes. feel bad. Like, well, technically, I had a stroke, but thanks for bringing it up, oh, exactly. Yeah, I almost really? died. I almost died, but it's okay. I'm partly. <laughs> <laughs> if you were gonna I say a... something else. I know you're gonna say. I wasn't gonna say the R word. Yeah. I was gonna say brain damage. Brain damage. Yeah, <laughs> we don't say the R word. Yeah, you can't say the R word. You can't anymore. say any R words anymore. Okay, it's, it's 2020. Not, it's you guys not fair. remember when we could say R word? Yeah, pick your freaking <laughs> use of euphemisms. Fun. Yeah, I, 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 no, you can't say like. Okay, so it's kind of funny because I got yelled at for saying midget. Really? Yes. I have like 11 midget friends, <laughs> and their names are Midget Mac, Jess the Midget, Shovelhead Small Midget Gary. Bitch, yeah. So you can't yell at me when they call their Bridge, themselves that. Bridget the Midget. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what's the correct term then, supposedly? Small people? I'm they sure it want changes. Small people, but then they said that that is even uh, offensive, and they wanted mm-hmm. to change it to something else. I said oh vertically challenged, and then I got yelled at again. Can you not call them little nuggets? <laughs> Naturally, I just right? keep getting well, yelled at. Well, everything bite-sized I get. nuggets, uh, like you know, like oh, you just nuggets. keep getting in on it. Nuggets. You think they would well, like, like nuggets? nuggets. I don't. I don't nuggets think nuggets it's good. gonna be good to call just say chicken nugget people. To okay, group of, all right. Well, I call my short friends like the little nuggets, right? Or like my bite-sized friends, and they're like, oh, my dog's a nugget. Yeah, I actually saw so same thing. Midget get mad about that. No, wait. Small person. We just pissed off. Oh my they argue with each other about it. Well, so are they giving themselves these names? Like, I'm Bridget the Midget. Is yes. That, they yes. Are? They're giving okay. themselves. She does, yeah. Fucking run with it. Midget oh, is that Mac- really a name? Midget Maxwell. Yeah, if you're a midget, right. she's a porn star. Midget, why wouldn't you do Bridget right. the Midget? Like, what else would you do? Yeah. That's just super catchy. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, she's if you're born just, a midget, your name's an Bridget. an entrepreneur. Yeah. What else do you have <laughs> Built in, in this dude. life? Like Built if, in. Like, their parents had to know. Dad must have been like, mm, her thumbs look small. Bridget. <laughs> Bridget. Bridget, I'm going to set her up. <laughs> she has weird proportions. What a good Bridget. Father. So straight out the gate, we're just going for it. Huh? <laughs> no, we're just going <laughs> for it. This is people. Okay. Uh, by tomorrow, I will have a midget protest around my house. It's going to be great. <laughs> well, you know, no, so, this won't release yet. But by the time it does, you'll know that oh, day yeah. when it's released, you're going to be like, what the fuck? 
fuck? Why can't you look out your window that you can't see them? And you have to yeah. look down, right? Is that how I goes? The funny thing is, I won't even be yelled at by a midget. I'll be yelled at by a forty-year-old woman named Karen who's at a soccer game exactly. texting me on her phone. Right. So Feminine. that's be she's got the yeah. fucking long bangs and We're, the spiky, you know, story in the back. Yeah, a spiky story. <laughs> Like that spiky, whatever the fuck's it's going like on. Story. Yeah, it's, like, it's a story. Like it's, it's you telling look a at story. It. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's I telling think a all story. Karens look like Jack Frost from the Santa Claus movie, like where his hair is just spiked off. <laughs> yeah. I oh, think yeah. they all That's just fair. look like, <laughs> they do. like sure. Mr. Frost. Why does like they all get together in a Karen convention and go, oh, how do you do your hair? Like, I'm oh, yeah. That's, like well, that's, that's going to be out here next week, I think. The Karen, <laughs> the Karen and, and Janet will sign me right the fuck up. I pray to God she's joking. And it's all talking to the managers. If there's any manager in town, you Listen, better hide. <laughs> because this is, they're this coming is your manager to get you. training. You need to know how to be a super cunt. <laughs> you want to go to? We're going to train we you. We can say cunt. Yeah, we say it. All. I love cunt. Okay, I was scared. I could <laughs> oh, say yeah. That. But I could say moist, but I can't say sploosh. You can say moist. Can't, can't say sploosh. Can moist. say moist. Don't yes, say can. lady boner. What's wrong with lady? What's lady boner. boner. No. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm ask you. Right. I'll explain it to you. I, but no, go ahead. She doesn't okay. like. I've never. I've never asked this because I've never did a podcast with all women. Okay. Okay. What is y'all's favorite term for vagina? Oh, it switches up daily. Really? Cooch, cooter, twat. Um, oh, you guys are going simple. Pussy. I'm talking about like hairy clam, uh, slop hole. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, those two. Oh, but I don't really call, okay. I don't call mine that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. fuck me in my slop hole, baby. <laughs> like, who the fuck? Like, that would turn off my husband in a second. <laughs> I mean, are you yeah. kidding? Like, you'd be like, What's your favorite term? My favorite? Oh, that's hard. I would have to say slop hole. Just you do not say that I to think Erica. It's the worst. You do I not say, say that to her. I know you, you say don't. No. Please don't say that. What are you talking about? I told her like two months ago that I would dive in her You're slop gonna hole like a hillbilly. You're going to come home and all your shit's going to be in Oh, no, like that's a sweet. Like yeah, right? That's sweet. Like, like four days for our anniversary. It was a good time to say it. Oh, my God. She was a good time to say it. It was Tuesday. It was our anniversary. So it was really a good time. What's your favorite term for? Dude, I'm basic bitch. It's got to be pussy. It's just Just pussy? Pussy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so are, are we are we going like just, so? It's yeah, widely there's... known that I can't say uh, pussy. Like I say, like, say, it. You say pussy. I, can't, I just like can't say. It Ugh. feels really weird for me to say. So <laughs> can you? So you just said it like pussy. it was normal. Like it was no big yeah, deal. Yeah, I guess. Like the, the only thing that I have weird times with I are just, like if you're if especially with like dirty talk and stuff. I can't do like underwear isn't sexual enough lingerie sounds too formal and so then panties. Oh, okay. panties bothers me i'm like that's not hot at all Ooh, panties take off the clothing panties, panties? panties is hot panties? panties it's not i don't know i, I, wish, there was, I wish there was it. any other do you say word. undies undies like a child hey man take off these undies <laughs> take let's get down to undies, it brother boy. All right, take so, hey. i have a better question real quick i want to ask you because i've been asking the guys this all the time and they want to answer me properly and i get half ass answers okay perfect would you judge a girl who poos, pulls her panties to the side to take a shit no. You would judge I her. Judge right? her? Would you judge her? What is the context done, of the situation? I've she done has to that. take a dump. She doesn't want to take her panties off. She just pulls them to okay, the side. Okay, have you body suits? Body suits don't always have the little unclippy thing. Yeah. So I'm constantly like Who's pulling it to the side, pissing and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not I'm taking the whole thing off. I'm so glad I found a girl who actually said that this is a thing. I'm not listen, I don't I'm not gonna take off my entire body suit. I will pull it to the side. It's very stretchy. To take a shit? Let's be yeah. honest. I know yes. you don't want to judge, but Listen, be I, honest I, what you actually fucking do. Episode four, I shit my pants. I told everyone about it. Like, you really? Do you want to pass me? Yeah. Oh. I know. Well, I was I, really okay. drunk. Yeah, see? So here's the thing. You pull it. You put it on the side of a butt cheek. You sit on it, and then you wipe with the other. And it slides back, and then no, it's it got fucking no, shit on it. It's, it's, well, what's better? <laughs> leaving it there and making it like a Play-Doh press, and it just splits in two pieces <laughs> like a log being solved? You just take off all your clothes. You take it off. Why are those the two naked in a public restroom? I'm not getting nude in a public restroom why would you want to I'll do it? shit on your fucking well, underwear obviously you need to practice <laughs> and we're gonna have a convention for that now too on how to wear you're a gonna body help me properly. do this thing that i don't ever want to yes, do yes, and i never to. would because this is what good friends do heather, for one I know another good goddamn and well heather, you, you your said you wouldn't right yeah. you Just take it all off i would take it all of it off. we're in the I same will be camp naked wait you guys by the way it's not panties for me shit to the side to shit so if i have panties on i'm putting my i'm taking my panties down but if it's a bodysuit that i'm not taking all the way off or whatever i will do that Okay. okay. All right. Well, that that's makes sense. I'm I mean, glad you admitted fair. that it I'm, has happened because no girl will ever why, admit that it's happened. Why would I not admit it? I'm, then I'd be lying to myself, right? Look, if I did it, I would admit it, but 
and maybe to pee. But when mm-hmm. you bring in the See, idea, it's for y'all. Of like, I've been in a women's room. Explosive... They're glorious. They are clean, pristine, are crisp. You sure? I swear to God, you go in a men's There's room. There's a grossest. Sometimes, There's, someone has know. taken dumps in urinals no. because all the oh, stalls shit. were full. So you have to pee on top of other men's turds. Okay. Women are, so yeah, when girls yeah, yeah, are yeah, like, yeah, yeah just take everything them. off. You don't you have take, to ever I smell don't even dirty vagina touching. in a restroom. <laughs> have you been in a deployment oh restroom before? Women Dude, are disgusting. We've got Ugh. so much more going on. There's fucking blood. There's <laughs> shit. I've, I've seen piss. blood There's on hurting. the walls. I've you seen blood on the walls. I was a DJ at Deja Vu Strip Club for almost 10 years. Oh, that's true. And when you are the when you first start for the first month, you are the lowest guy on the totem pole. Okay. So your job is the blood bucket. The what? blood bucket is the bucket in the dancer's dressing room when we have 140 girls working on a Saturday night who are all synced up on their period because they, they all are. work together. Oh my so God. then at the end of the night, you're picking up an eight-pound bucket full of tampons and blood. And this thing <gasps> has been spilled bucket. multiple times. While carrying it, you see a new floor guy just acting like, oh, and spill it. Oh, yeah, so my God. It's a, um, all roll all yeah. over the So place? I've seen the horror that women can That's produce in large up. mass so that's groups. What oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I can't believe like, that's oh, a thing. Be... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All I can think of is Porta Johns at a Taylor oh, Swift concert. That's what they look like. Oh, shit. I don't want to see that either. Porta Shitters at a Taylor Swift concert? Nobody wants to see that. Unless what Taylor Albert Swift? You're goddamn right. Albert Fish. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to see do, that. Do people get that reference when you say it? Probably not. I don't know. I just listened to this two-hour murder podcast yep. the about day. Albert Fish. Yeah. He was the most fucked he up ate motherfucker so of all time. Shit, man. Wait, wait, he wait. Ate so much. So shit. Albert wait. Fish, you know I about him. I love Albert Fish. Right? Why I, would you love him? I'm super into fucking, serial killers. Yep. Um, I don't know anything about this guy. So oh. uh, Albert Fish, yeah. um, he um, killed and tortured a lot of children. Oh my god! Like over four, over four hundred. Yes. Oh my god! The best thing was when he was sentenced to death. When he finally got caught, his last words were, "I don't know what's wrong with me." When I see a boy walking down the street, I just think to myself, "What does he look like inside out?" (gasps) He was a super. And when he when they tried to electrocute him, mm -hmm. he they had to do it um, three to four times because he had jammed nine inch nails and pins into his crotch about like fifty four or something like that, and and it shorted the electric chair yeah. so oh this was his God. deal was that he would put like needles and just get needles and all kinds of sharp shit right and just have them yeah. embedded in his body at all yeah. times so yeah. that he was just constantly i mean this That's is a fuck fucking th- psychotic yeah no. he's fucking, in that oh i love God. it but anyway but see i love ed gein ed gein's my favorite That's ed gein was your favorite real question Re- this is a real real fucking question i was thinking about this the other day when does something when is it no longer evidence and it becomes auctioned off or does it get incinerated like all of the like the nipple belt and the lampshade made out of human flesh oh my is god is that in evidence does it is get it auctioned off there? or it's it thrown into a fire it like, gets auctioned happens? off zach uh from ghost no, hunters just really bought right. ed gein's cauldron where he cooked over I, 15 yeah but people. what happened to the skin shit man that's not like <gasps> I, I think the co- they have to dispose of it when it's human oh my god of like course that. it's yeah. like did you know his doorbell was a nipple a male yep. nipple? No, yeah. it was not. Yeah. Was it really? He lived, yeah. he lived so far yeah. out into oh, the wilderness, and though, that it wasn't like... But a lot of people don't know the movie Psycho, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was based off Ed Gein yeah. because he, he would, had a mom he would shit, dress up like, like his mother, yeah. uh, as well as uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface yeah. is based off Ed Gein. Yeah, that, so every okay. horror movie that is like a cult classic is based off Ed Gein. Which is crazy to me because yeah he is kind of like oh my he God. was the biggest nut job ever yeah like, mm, I don't know after two hours of Albert Fish I might just I know that. like at this moment exactly because it's kind of fresh in yeah. your mind did you say Albert he Fish's ate, gray man he, is a mother he ate he ate children he molested them he'd put pins and he had like lovers that like he would abuse them and torture them and then have them do the same stuff to him he referred to human shit as peanut butter and would eat oh. it constantly and drink human piss he. He wrote a letter to the f- one of the four-year-old girl, one of his four-year-old girl victims. He wrote a letter to her parents describing in detail how he murdered and ate her. Oh my, he's fucking god! Are nothing's you kidding? worse than that, right? I can't. Oh I think my it's, you god! Know, like, I think it's kids. Than that. Did they what, ever do there's there's nothing kids? worse? Right? Have they done a case study well, on this like guy kids, so and why he is way is? Oh my god! Shut the fuck up! Shut the. Wait, in my opinion, Albert Fish was just birth control. But oh you didn't know you needed. No big deal. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, I'm I'm kidding. I know. Yeah. We know you're oh, kidding. We we're gonna, hope or we got to yeah, reevaluate yeah, yeah. our there's friends. So yeah. many, there's other serial killers who had way cooler like slogans and terms. Like, yeah, do you yeah. know what Richard Ramirez's oh, last come words up with a slogan? were? Oh, yeah. Richard Ramirez's last words in court was, nobody noticed that he had taken a pen off the desk and had been carving a pentagram in his own hand to the very bone with a pen. 
So when the, they asked if he had anything to say, he stood up, held his hand up with a pentagram and blood in his hand. He goes, the devil dwells within us all. See you guys in Disneyland. <laughs> and those were his last oh words. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's so, awesome. that's kind of metal. <laughs> Richard that's Ramirez kind of is metal, pretty, right? pretty yeah. metal. Yeah. Well, so you're super into serial killers. I what saying, do, do you, you know? And I, I am too, but I'm trying to, I'm right now trying to grapple with why, right? It's why fascinating. They kill people? Why I'm interest so interested in it. I think the same reason I am. Okay. You get interested in things that you're not supposed to know about. The mm-hmm. fact okay. that it is hard for you to find things about these people. Yeah. You have to research them, yeah. and they're not on the news. There's no shows about them. There's no, not hardly movies about them. Yeah. So you have to go, and I think that that makes people want to know more when you can't know something. Right, um, and it know. feels like something that you discover, yeah. and you kind and of it's go ju- on It's the- just like when, I, I look at it this way. When one of my friends does something really stupid, I in my head, I'd be like, why the fuck would they do exactly. that? What made them yep. do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And you want to know so why. So when I see yeah. something, be like, this man fucking sewed people's mouths to their assholes and made yeah, him yeah. a centipede. I'm like, why did he do that? Yeah, I want to yeah. Do that. Okay, so that makes sense. So like I personally don't like to see like any of the pictures of it. I don't like actually seeing the gore of it. But exactly what you just said. I want to know why. I think it's more about the ment- yeah. the mental yeah. stability of the person we're looking yeah. right. to. Well, that's what I was saying know. is like with the fish guy, right? Yeah. How did they ever do a case study or any of these guys, the way he was raised, what he went through, yeah, why? They, they, right? They tried, the podcast yeah. that I listened to uh, went through the details of even his childhood. I think his, his father was 40 some years old. Uh, 40 whatever number years older than his mother oh wow so she was like maybe like uh, a teenager or 20 years old and he was in his 60s or okay. something and it was and that was imprinted on him in a series yeah, of yeah. events they then, usually wet the bed right he, there's he like a, a bed wetter he was a bed wetter that, like yeah. Yeah. all of them they do, do all those yeah. like studies about like yeah they, they wet the bed they harm small animals they um all most yeah, yeah, yeah. harm small animals yeah yeah, yeah. practice yeah um, wow but, you know, it's it's weird because serial killers nowadays, like the Green River Killer, yeah, you know, yeah. stuff like that, this weren't recent. Uh, I I feel that serial killers back in the day had just way more swag. You know what I'm saying? Right. They were way better <laughs> they were about it. They were way yeah. cooler. Like yeah. Albert Fish didn't give a fuck. He wore his fucking lumberjack hat and just ate people. He didn't give a shit, you know? <laughs> but now these serial killers nowadays, they want fucking CNN interviews. Albert Fish just, he just wanted to do his thing, you know? He just really wanted to do oh his fucking God. thing, right? <laughs> they were so much I cooler get, back in the day. It was so about, much it was shit about, about the podcast. art. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? That's just ruined the art. It was like serial killing. Remember astronauts used to be fucking cool? Now we don't. Now know. they're wearing diapers and driving across the fucking country. Oh god, they were fucking yeah, badass yeah, yeah, like yeah, pigs yeah, yeah. back in the day. Uh, and now it's like I think that's all thanks to Bruce Willis because you know the slow motion walkout to save the planet. Everybody was like, oh, the fucking hands astronaut. on the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks on that one, Bruce. <laughs> oh so my gosh. you guys are in town for, or you're in town all the time. Yeah, you yeah, live here. I live here. Yeah. But right now you're super busy with different things. What are what are we doing? What's going on? I never this really week. know. Never really know <laughs> what I'm doing. Usually, okay. it's five minutes before I have to be somewhere. It's Heather. Why aren't you ready? We told you. <laughs> they didn't tell me. Oh yeah. Don't you love oh, to yeah. be with Let's all guys about, too? Yeah. Because yeah. they 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 get ready in five seconds. Uh-huh. They're like, why aren't you ready? I'm like, where am I supposed to be? They give you a right six a.m. Like, call yeah. time, and they're like, why are you not in full camera yeah. ready? Makeup and hair. And and we like, had a meeting it, about but... a meeting about a meeting about this. Yeah. So. And <laughs> Well, I'm an unprofessional, so. Well, I don't right know now. how you didn't get there. I was on time. <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I left early to come here. I for- may have forgotten. <laughs> oh yeah. So you guys, you guys were in a little bit of a fight when you first walked in. So what exactly what happened from everyone's point of view? So yeah. so what <laughs> happened was I I've been up since like seven thirty eight thirty a.m. this morning trying to prep myself to videotape buttholes, which is a hard job. It's okay. so hard. Oh, it's wow. all about angles, yeah. okay? Yeah. And we're right. feel bad for him. You should, you should be there. <laughs> so yeah, we bad. feel for you. So okay. I, I had a shoot with a girl who was going to shove a, a, a cactus inside herself um and she sent me a video she sent me a video of it and i said we can make that look way better if we go out to the desert it'll take about 30 minutes so you have to have the right yeah you have to have the right background for a cactus vagina so instead i said i'm gonna cancel that let's do it another day i gotta go do a podcast and i have to meet my friend at shot show so i got in a cab in a 45 minute ride to SHOT Show and then I walked around SHOT Show for about 25 minutes waiting the for floor. Heather to text me back. <laughs> or you could call me like a normal fucking human being. Who calls people? What do you live in 1994? We do. Yeah, we're callers. <laughs> Pick up the phone and be like, bitch, where the fuck are you? I'm, I'm not like... They invented text seeing... so I don't have to talk to people. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. 
but like, it's, and plus, like, I thought you were here for your fucking audition anyways. I didn't think you were fucking here for shots. Okay, I don't see a black fucking couch here anywhere. There's no audition. Oh, I thought you were auditioning for Helen Keller. They said you were just such a natural. <laughs> such a natural. That didn't get for making me go everywhere. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry you didn't get to watch your He's lady like, fuck a cactus. Do you understand? I know. You only get to see that maybe four or five times I in your life. So, Charlie, are you saying... Wait, is she only here for the AVNs? Is that why yeah, or something? Uh, but, Charlie, okay. are you saying that you gave that up for us? Yes, for you That's guys. So oh. A cactus in a butthole yeah, for us? Yeah, so somebody's getting some prickles. Okay, and so now <laughs> Heather, I guess I gotta <laughs> fill in, man. Heather? So I gotta Heather. Heather, keep drinking from your drink. <laughs> but from your point of view now, <laughs> what happened? Um, so let's tell us, tell us the real story. Uh, what happened And then was, we're gonna do another story from this I love, same I love fairy tales. <laughs> see what, ha- see what happened was. Fairy tale. Um, Vegas has not been kind to me. I've okay. been... I not sleeping you. as much as it probably should be. Yeah. You look I mean, great. The, the, oh, my God. Thank you. There's no, not isn't really much water intake, <laughs> mostly. I know. Same. Why do we know? Why, I drink water all the time. For yeah. some reason here, it's super I have busy, not man. one fucking sip in my mouth. Yeah. Guess it's what? Like, going to the bathroom like wastes coffee, a lot of time. I know. Coffee yes. and vodka and, um, <laughs> you know, just stress. Yes. It's yeah. all of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I may have forgotten. Oh, so what I said that we oh. said, we, I don't know. See, a lot of things have been happening, and maybe I left you there. And yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> she takes Rizvan. Because when you could read back through the text, you'd be like, hey, meet me at Shaw Show. Wait, okay. hold on. That's not what you said when you well, came he in. Said, he said 2.30. You said 2.30 to 3, we're going to meet at Shot Show. I wasn't aware that this was so far away from Shot Show. I thought you would walk next door to the hotel. You were never allowed up. to lead a platoon of men. <laughs> Listen, I'm well, not well, I'm listen, sorry you guys I'm got right, shot and shit, but I'm here to left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys kept going right, and I didn't think to say I was going left. <laughs> <You're> so, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to it, Heather. This is why I don't. I have not. This is why you created Charlie <laughs> friends. There are no children in my care. <laughs> For obvious reasons. You know, could you imagine? <laughs> no. Meet mom downstairs. Where is she? <laughs> oh, I left my kid at the drugstore le- bathroom. <laughs> Sorry. And she said, you guys, I told you. I did or I didn't. Or I didn't. Either way, and you I can't remember known. which yeah. one. You should have read yeah. my mind. Yeah. How it goes. And then, Charlie, exactly. you are busy with AVNs right A- now? AVNs and SHOT Show. And what is oh, that? Oh, both of them. Okay, so both. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm doing both right now. And then uh, we're also working with a couple of dispensaries on their after parties okay. and stuff like that. So it's okay. like, it's been hell. But right now I have like every one of my friends in town plus like every porn star known to man. So I got to try to so you're a little bit work with them <laughs> all. Yeah. You know, and, and, is and, Sasha and Gray here or is she just quit the game? Sasha Gray doesn't come What about anymore. Megan Rain? Mm, Megan Rain's not here either. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck about this guy. <laughs> oh, those are your two those favorite? your favorites? Yeah. 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 Was Sasha Gray, did she used to come? I don't know. She was a porn star. I think she's a DJ now. Yeah, I think she like kind of pivoted. She also owns a production company and she does um, her own uh, films and stuff like that. But she does, I don't think she does adult acting anymore. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's she's not here. A lot of the star porn hub isn't here. Neither is Brazzers. That's weird. They just didn't come this year. Okay. That's really weird. Why do they have to come? It's not like someone's going to walk by and be like, what the fuck is Pornhub? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are you kidding right yeah. now? Yeah. Really? You like, this swimsuit rock? competition is really <laughs> crazy right now. Why do they all keep fucking too? <laughs> Porn who? Porn? How do you? Yeah, they don't need to do any advertising Wait, out here. So what do you watch then? So you like girl shit? Um, it's a little bit of just kind of whatever comes across my screen Liar. and like. It's okay, Jesse and I, I talk about what we watch. Yeah. Shit. I kind of actually go down Ross found out today holes. that like you. <laughs> I'll go down. That you watch bondage hole. stuff, and he was like, "You watch bondage without What's me." Wrong with like, that? no. But he was oh. like, "I'll tie you up." But she's like, "No, and I so want to." Had uh, watch when we it. had small hands on here. Okay. Yeah. And so I was. He was talking about you know bondage scenes, and I kind of knew the people that he was talking about and right. where they were like kink dot com or whatever. Mm-hmm. And Ross was yeah. like, "What?" Ross was like, "What are you? Huh? Well, hello? What are you? T- what <laughs> are, are you my talking wife? about? <laughs> what isn't that it?" What did he say? Yeah. Oh, he's okay. laughing at it. He's laughing oh, at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know it. And Ross was like, do you like that stuff? Da, da, da. And I had to explain to him that you can be interested in certain kinds of porn mm-hmm. or see people be really into other stuff that right. you don't necessarily want to right. be done to right. you. Right. You know what I mean? Like the the enthusiasm of them right. turns you on. Yeah. Even if you don't want to be fucking 
yeah ripped with, and yeah with stuff it looks very yeah. uncomfortable sometimes for though, sure when you're hanging from the ropes. yeah well yeah. a lot of people don't know that you can only do that for about 20 minutes yeah because you before like, you're... your circulation's cut off and it can exactly. cause permanent nerve Holy damage exactly. so you have to be trained in how to rig people up like yes. that yeah because if you were to tie across your femoral artery oh yeah. too tight yeah for more than 10 minutes you can lose a leg that's what it looks like. Yeah. So you have to like. yeah. Well, he was saying he was trained. He said he knows. Yeah. He goes, yeah. I'm not hurting them. Like, obviously, it's going to sting. He's like, but you know the pressure and what to do. Like, he's like, it's very all well orchestrated, and they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and you, then you on air. It's, it can be painful. Right? Yeah, it really can. Um, And then on air, I had her look up prolapse. Anus <laughs> and got her like just genuine real reaction because she oh, it for the first like time. I, I don't know if yeah. you go down rabbit holes of porn she yeah. like explores no, like you know in the page I, where you just like look and like you're dude, watching I don't stuff. Know. page like 57 just like oh yeah. I need to go for 100 more pages like it's yeah. just you know what the mirizing. best thing to watch on any porn site is what it's have you ever wanted to jerk off and laugh yes <laughs> I mean all the yeah, time all you have all to do is search porn bloopers it is oh, the we best thing that. on the planet. Just girls getting shots but, in their mouth and they're like, ah, it tastes like Krispy Kreme. Ah. <laughs> and it's the best. It's the yes. best. And then you just see a girl get a rail from behind and you see that one slip out. Uh, and then that slip in and her foot's just like, ah, uh, as she falls off the bed. You know, there's, there's things that just bring you little bits of joy that yeah, make life sure. better. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, some girl accidentally getting uh come in her eye and they have to take her to the emergency room oh, on no. camera because <laughs> she can't get it out and like literally her eyes look like forrest whitaker so just glazed yeah. over oh my gosh god oh that would <laughs> be it awful it hurts dude uh it's yeah it does so it's yeah i'll rich. just i'll go down all right i guess i'll go buy my eye patch now <laughs> <laughs> Should, that should be yeah. That'll be your oh. new prop in your videos, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you won't like say anything about it. You're and, just yeah. like, yep, yep. You just have an eye patch one day. So, yep. Did you hurt yourself? Nope. No. And everyone's like, "What are you it doing? It looks cool. Don't yeah. ask about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask about it." What? So I love watching your videos, and I have like a little girl crush when you do it. The bitter I, like, barista. The, yeah, the bitter barista, Hilarious. or all the other ones. And so, what got you into doing videos and? All this other stuff because people love you. Um, I'm like into like I, I'm into like super self deprecating. Okay, humor. like my I think in any a friend a lover any kind of relationship I have with people like my my thing is like humility mm -hmm. and like I love that humor. Um, I just love making like an ass of myself. I, yeah. yeah, I hope, hope I hope when I meet I people, get that. they're like, "Oh, you're literate, articulate, and educated." That's very yeah. nice. <laughs> I thought you were a giant I dumb you're an ass. idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like I have to explain that to people sometimes. They're like, "Are you you're fucking crazy?" I'm like, "No, I'm really." Yeah. Kind you're like, of, "I'm kind of chill." Yeah, kind of chill. <laughs> but I think that also gives me like um that that is my release because I'm such an like a socially awkward person sometimes mm -hmm. but that's my way of like that's my outlet yeah just like I get to pretend to be something else and I really like that uh, yeah you are I feel a yeah. fucking weirdo I know on your videos I know. no your but face, I love it though you can go from like gorgeous <laughs> to, to like, like just fucking disgusting. crazy <laughs> it's perfect <laughs> and when you say you're you know kind of low-key and chill I think Charlie can probably attest She's, to she's, that not being the truth sometimes? <laughs> no, actually. I, Is that it, true? If I had to pick anybody to film with, I'd pick her. Oh, oh yeah, she, no, no, I'm she, just saying yeah. you guys get into some... I was going to... Oh. It. Oh. Well, I mean, she's late well, all the goddamn time. <laughs> no. it, it fucking makes me no, late. there's that. You, um, you tried to frame her for some kind of thief? No. Breaking a, and entering? He's no, a liar. It's like you buy a $2 million yacht. It's beautiful. No. It's great. But then you put a fucking Radio Shack radio in it, and you're like, oh, uh, yeah, we need help out here. And it's just cutting out. Like, <laughs> the, the, the communication this is no, horrible. This we were, were we in LA? <laughs> radio we were in, Shack. We were in LA. It was me, him, and it was angry cops and somebody else from Vet TV. We were driving around. We were trying to buy like a wig or. And like we were sober, huh? Oh, I spent two thousand dollars at a costume store. I, fucking, I know. No, <laughs> we tried to like get into this fucking costume shop, and I like tried to pull the door open, and like all the alarms get set fucking off. Angry cops guy is doing barrel rolls across oh my the God. fucking grass. We're running. We get into the car. He's a fucking cop. We're in the fucking van, and he calls the local police because the alarm's still going off. And he's like, "Hey, I just want to let you know, Heather Lynn from Black Rifle Coffee. She just tried to break into your no, shop. No, you did not. Okay. Mm -hmm, bye." So what you're saying is you do not want concerned citizens to call the police when they see something going down. <laughs> you motherfuckers were leaving. We said, Heather, were you by yourself? And did you did you break into this place no, all by we yourself? We were waiting in the minivan. 
you were right And you next did not to me. try and break in you at all. right next no, to me. No, she touched the door. She... And you were quietly sitting in the minivan drinking tea. Tea? Yes. Whatever. You were just reading you a book. Am reading I under oath? This is <laughs> your conspiring? Am I under oath right now? Yeah, what the fuck You're are you doing? Just, yeah. What are you doing? Well, not plagiarize. You, what is are you it? trying to start shit right now? Don't perjure yourself. Yeah, perjure, you yeah. fucking instigator, you. First no, off. I just okay. want to know because he was I, saying, "As I remember I, it." I, I want to. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. If four people have their mouths open and a dick is heading for all of those mouths, <laughs> and the dick touches the first person's lips. That person sucked a dick. You touched the door. You set off the alarm. We called the cops on you because we're good citizens. You motherfuckers were running right next to me. So <laughs> deny, First off, deny, I was fat deny. as shit back then. Do you really think I'd be running? Lies. He was power walking. <laughs> That's also fair. What? That's a fair point. You I were was, doing your best, I Charlie. I red and blue lights are behind me. That's about it. <laughs> That's the only time I run. That or a Nick zombie Cage apocalypse. tickets. <laughs> <laughs> National Treasure Three. So I love that Rich I'm, was doing. I love that Rich was doing fucking rolls. Literally, I know he he did a fucking somersault. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I don't know. It feels right because Jack it was feels like, right. Like, okay. Jack was like, God. Rich has so much energy. Rich is just constantly he like, does. go 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 go. He said he he's like up. that yeah. as soon as he wakes up. He doesn't need anything to get that going. Oh, yeah. rub it in your face. Like, like we need, I need substances That's to what I'm stay saying. awake. Yes. Like, I was saying that would be kind of annoying if you were with in the morning. all the time. <laughs> I need yeah. coffee first. I put yeah. Something like. I don't, I don't think it really is like, I think you just have to learn how to time people. Oh yeah. Oh, I like so this. my buddy CJ, I have a three hour time limit with him. <laughs> After three hours, I need at least a five hour break I before like we get back I into like it. This. I have That's a smart. You know, and, 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 but with Rich, I don't need a break because I think, I feel like his, his energy is Keeps creative. Keeps you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. CJ's just yeah. like, oh, I'm going to piss on this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no creativity oh behind it. Rich is all. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's I love okay. CJ. You he's right. one of my best friends of the world, but yeah. he's one of those people who like, He's balls to the wall 24-7, and he's a hard to handle. But Rich he's is... your only okay, friend Okay, so Rich keeps things moving. He's funny as shit, yeah. though. I, like, I don't know him. I haven't met him. I saw him at Burba's, and I was like, funny. oh, you're a yeah. cops guy. And yeah. we joked and stuff, and I was like, I yeah. really want to hang out with I you. I just like yeah. anybody that what you see on the internet is what you get, right? Mm-hmm. So he yeah. is exactly the same person that you see when you meet him, yeah. right? And that I just love people like see, that. I hate that stigma, because that's like... M- I call myself a low life piece of shit, white trash, gun toting, low life asshole. Yeah, like that's what I, you know, market okay. myself as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's li- Charlie Classic is literally my persona turned up a thousand. Okay. So when I get that whole persona, like you know, Heather says all the time, people think I'm a giant douchebag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I you know, I find myself a nice, intelligent. No, I, I, I tell people say it on the show nice all the time. Is met. that you? Oh, I appreciate that. You call yeah. yourself that, but I was like, every time I meet him, he's so fucking nice, but so he, cool, so respectful. So, but I still feel like you're the same. Like it's still you. It's just a different version of you, right? Or is that really not you at all, at all? It's hard because I have to tone myself down a lot because if I went full force, all of my social medias would be deleted instantly, like that day. (laughs) Fair enough. That's fair, I get that. Because I'm one of those people who stick straight to the point and I will always stand by this. Either everything's funny or nothing's funny. So I hate when people, you know, say you can't make a joke about it. Like somebody said, oh, you can't make a joke about rape. And I said, "That's, that's not right. I was like, because yeah. rape can be funny at some points, as if you came in and said, I'm going to rape that pizza. And right. your friend yeah. laughs. Yeah. Now, that is a joke about rape saying that rape is in a comedy yeah. context. Yeah. Now, saying, oh, my friend got raped, that's not funny. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. That's yeah. not fucking funny. Context, yeah. you know, context it's is context. Yeah. Yes. And yes. So a lot of people don't, we're in a generation right now where everybody's so, their fingers already hovering over the report yeah. button. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. They yeah. feel yeah. good. And and justified to be offended. Yep. The f- yeah. They've made it where the fact of offended is being right. It's trendy now. Yeah, it's trendy, it's trendy to, be to be offended. Hashtag. And I, and I hate offended. that because, be offended. Uh, you know, I would like to do way more online. Yeah. I have skits written for days and even I'll read them to Heather. She's like, mm, no. No. Yeah. Hell yeah. no. That Every even, week even I send I her ideas. Even if I think it's Even if you funny, think it's funny. Exactly. I know where I'm at with like my career uh-huh. and right. the people I associate myself with, even if it's my sense of humor, I'm like, well, fuck, like. I think the only difference between us a lot of the times is we take our skeletons out of the closet Definitely. and we dance with them. Right. And uh, the professional, sorry, right? That Fucking John Lennon over me. there. No, no that's me. Jesse's phone. Oh. It's, it's very, always mine. It's, it's every, always every mine. single time. I'm like, aren't you the podcast queen? I know. Every single time, it's like 
Ding I'm yet. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so. Know, you <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck, like, dude? What the John fuck? Lennon. <laughs> but, so you will be kind of his filter as, like, listen. Yeah. yeah. Well, Let's lot, not do that. A lot of the times, right for now. sure. Because yeah. it's, it's, and we've, uh, even the stuff that we've, we did three years ago, and he'll be like, but we've done stuff like this before. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, but, like, you. But now, that's for when changed. you refine your image, and even, th- we're still both chaotic. And I feel like a lot of. I feel like I can still be a little bit chaotic and it's okay because yeah. I don't have like a whole super professional. But I yeah, think yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Your I think where you went wrong, yeah. you guys marketed yourself wrong from the beginning. Right? So from the beginning, I said, I'm this a piece me. of shit yeah. and I'm yeah. going to say fucked well, up shit. Branding. So now all my friends will say the same thing I do and they're like, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. And then when I say it, they're like, well, it's fucking Charlie. It's yeah. just fucking yeah. saw it coming. So, so I, true. Yeah. It's so the same with like. Just calling yourself a piece of shit more. Or start with that. So like Ricky Gervais, Dave Chappelle, yeah. Yeah. these uh-huh. people branded themselves from the beginning. And as you can see now, yeah. he could say whatever the he fuck wants. he wants. Right. Yeah. yeah, because it's on brand. People just right. don't like hypocrisy, right? Mm-hmm. right? That's the thing that makes them fucking so pissed. For sure. So if you are, I'm super Christian, and then you say something, then yeah. they're like, what the fuck? And yeah. you're like, I can be both things, yeah, but they all need you to stay on brand, which is like so fucking yeah. retarded. I, I hate when like, like Kevin Hart had to like apologize oh, yeah. for oh, something he said 10 yeah. years, 15 years ago. I know. And a tweet yeah. that, by the way, apologize, yeah. Well, a tweet that, by like, the way, is something that people, if you have kids, I have two kids, like I have two boys. Like I've said before, like it would be harder for him a little bit if he was gay, right? It's just things that parents say. Um, and it's not against anything else. It's just you want them to have the easiest, best life ever, whatever that means, mm-hmm. right? But you know, at this yeah. point, I feel like he's, you know, it'd be all good either way. But this was in what year? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. It was when it someone, was so much harder. It was someone easy purposely for dug it to up, but they wanted people to, would, yeah. you know, people yeah. still discriminate, right? But like at that point when he wrote that tweet, it wasn't as widely accepted and he didn't right. want his fucking kid to have to deal with that. But, anyways, not yeah. defending no, it. But, and then uh, as far as like the feminists and stuff, we're a little bit of an anti feminist podcast in that. You know, I live here now. I live here now. <laughs> in that you get fucking You're welcome. You're so always much welcome shit. on. You get so much <laughs> shit from feminists. And I say feminists because they're only okay with women doing certain things that they agree with. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And yeah. not things that they don't agree with. Which, right. if you are a real that feminist. Doesn't make any they're, sense. Not, they're not promoting against, women's views. They're yeah. promoting their, their views. Their own yes. views. Yeah. Exactly. And so you get a bunch of shit for that because yeah. you work with, empower people that choose to do something that... Right. But do they want to do it? I think is the optim- optimal word, right? Like, and, and, and well, they they most of these girls contact me exactly. You know, and and what's crazy is me is the biggest stickler I get online is Charlie Classic forces these girls to film these videos. What? And in my eyes, when I see a feminist blogger or somebody say that, in my eyes, I'm like. Then why in the hell would you see them in multiple videos mm-hmm. over the years? Oh, if yeah. I'm a misogynistic Stockholm? piece of shit. Don't Is it you Stockholm think? syndrome? Yeah, yeah exactly. And, yeah. and I and, and why I work, are they posting them yeah, and promoting them? Yeah, and why are they sharing you? it on my page? Yeah. Are you that good of a cult leader? I, I fucking hope so. You guys he want just some hypnotizes them. You guys I'm want down. some Kool-Aid? You're yeah. that good, but <laughs> right, Jim Jones, pass it. I'm I'm thirsty. Yeah. Listen, just so you know, if you guys can get twenty five people to say that they follow your religion and you have a sanctioned place where you meet at least twice a week, you can be tax exempt for a cult or a church. Oh a cult, my a church. God. A religion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So Nicholas Cage, the religion is coming. I need I, 25 people. Yeah, 25 let's people. Do it. I have I'm a in. friend in Venice that, <laughs> down, that did that. 100%. And he gets tax exempt. And yeah, he has this great this. place in Venice and he just like does yoga we'll and weird together. ass religion. We'll t- we'll this is a great we'll idea. What would be I our like religion? How you know what, what is the religion? Yeah, what is oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? I, I okay. find like you those it up. things. Oh, yeah. What do we like? Obviously, serial killers, right? You have to be super into that, but not murder. We're all talking at once. Sorry, go ahead. No, that was good. We were having separate conversations. Sorry, sorry, sorry go ahead. I know. About, that's the issue. The religion. listeners are like, what the fuck's going on? Sorry, sorry, go ahead. I was <laughs> too. I said Nicolas Cage. Is okay, that our religion? That's our religion? That's my religion that I'm starting. And we follow you because you're the best cult leader in all the world. <laughs> <laughs> and we drink the cult. Are you telling me right now that you would not want to come into a building, see Nicolas Cage from National Treasure on a crucifix, Okay. Oh my God! And everybody walks up, and you rub your forehead on the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> like, are you Are you kidding me? And then Ghost Rider comes through at the end of the sermon, right? And we have a Nick Cage lookalike priest. I'm. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding sure. me, Heather? Yeah, no, I feel like if we refined that a little bit, yeah. like just changed it completely, <laughs> oh. everything would be fine. By I refined, think if we took your idea and threw it out the fucking window. <laughs> by the way, we take that idea. Don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Do something else. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am into that. I fucking love Nicolas Cage. I think he is a... He's he's a god national among men. treasure. Yeah, oh he my is god. A, he is a walking god on this earth. You don't like him? Do you okay, not like so him? Here's the thing about me: when I was 11 years old, when little girls were crushing on like Leonardo DiCaprio and Backstreet Boys, I was butt fucking obsessed with Nicolas Cage. Like, were you? You were. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, yes. Weird, Gone oh, yes. in 60 Valley seconds girl? was my jam. Oh, Do you remember well, Valley? Kind of yeah. hot and driving movie, Miss though. Daisy. Oh. Fucking Gone in 60 seconds. I don't give a fuck what driving it was. Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. Are we talking about the same person? Nicholas Cage is he should have been in Driving Miss Daisy that movie would have been a hundred times I feel like she's about to school you right now and I mean I don't know she's like let me look this up he was the little part he wasn't the driver do I know more about Nicholas Cage (gasps) no way there's no way that he was in Driving Miss Daisy Charlie he's not in Driving Miss Daisy is he does he have By a small way, heart? First off, I don't even think I've ever seen Driving Miss Daisy. Oh, well, then. Why the hell would I watch Driving Miss Daisy? <laughs> because, why? I don't know. You don't like, you don't like ra- I've racism never being been solved that in high. one movie? Yeah. I've never been The title been sounds stoked. like something you definitely would watch, right? <laughs> All day long. Oh, no. <laughs> what movie yeah. are you thinking of? What's up, of? Home Slice? You can't oh, stump oh, this Nicolas Cage fucking like, encyclopedia. Is it a lady... There's something to do. With I guarantee like a lady. listeners right now are screaming at sorry. their <laughs> podcast, going, I'm sorry. "I don't know. I know which movie it is. Yeah, I know yeah. which movie it is <laughs> that she's thinking of. It's some kind of politician, like he's helping out a lady that's in politics." I hey Nick, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm on his aficionado. Do you know I'm what I'm talking about? But in sixty <laughs> seconds, he was he was sexy in that. Have, and to me, have, have you guys Arizona. ever seen Nick Cage's son? No. No. Does he look like him? He's he a metalhead. He's a goth metalhead. He he's oh black God, hair, black it. fingernails. Weird. Like of course he is. He Wouldn't is... you be if you were Nicholas Cage's? No, son? I would literally try to be just like just my like... father, <laughs> like in every way known to man. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Pretend to be him. You guys oh don't my... understand. I have. Nicholas Cage shower curtains, Nicholas Cage do. pillows all over my house, Nicholas Cage hangs over my house, Nicholas Cage is above oh every God. toilet. I have like 15 Nicholas Cage no, portraits. You, really? Yeah, I do not mess around about the cage. What is wrong with you? Oh, wow. I like Nicholas Cage. Okay. Have, so have, you've never <laughs> met him, I'm assuming. Crazy, right? No, I I'd shit blood and pass out. I, I, I think I'm thinking, I know which one you're thinking <laughs> of. I don't feel like I'm wrong. If I, I feel like we yeah, have to make wrong. that, that needs to be our number five mission. Mission is get Charlie Classic to meet Nicolas Cage. That's, that's, fair. that's, that's fair. right. Stone Cold and Nicolas Cage. I'll, I'll really, you oh can off me right there. Awesome. You can take me that? out right after I meet him. I had a good one. Oh my God. All right. We <laughs> can figure that <laughs> out. That's, that's all I need. So will you come out to, we are going to be in LA the same way. You could tell me Nicolas Cage was on Uranus and my ass like, would be there. there. Sacramento, Sacramento, Bakersfield. I'll be there. I don't give a shit. No, but uh, last time or last year you came to L.A. and kind of hung out at the podcast house. Right, 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 right. If you just do that again, I feel like we can. We could totally happen, make bro. this happen. Don't no. play with my heartstrings. No, I'm not. That's all try. I will think about for the rest I'll of try. my life. I am surprised with how many people that you know <laughs> that, you, that yeah. you haven't met him or I like know. had the connections yeah. yet, right? Have you guys ever tried to catch a leprechaun <laughs> that dove into a unicorn's oh. asshole as the unicorn was falling into a black hole. That's what it's like trying to meet this, Nick Cage. Oh, oh shit, he's that fucking like mysterious. He doesn't go out, right? What you, like, where did you come up with that? It's my, Charlie. My, it's Charlie. My brain just is very I know, I ADHD. <laughs> I feel like you two together, like yeah. when you guys are together, are you guys constantly coming up with skits you and ideas and other, videos? Or, for sure. Yeah. Or what? I think we feed off of each other. And yeah. plus, I, Heather's the first person I've met that it's it's really her it's between her and JT our uh-huh. when we when I bounce ideas off them we have such dark humor yeah. Yeah. that we know where each other's going like if I'm like Heather we're gonna make a video on the stairs yeah. she goes I'm not doing a video about you kicking me down the stairs while I'm pregnant <laughs> she knows <laughs> where I'm going she knows where you're going wait did you make that video no wait, no oh, okay I, was like, I love how you just <laughs> think about that? it that sounds like something that would yeah. like no I had to do it by myself <laughs> I'm so sorry that you had to play every character I know it was hard dressed up like a girl oh you need you guys need each other because she will tell you no, no, no. And plus, too I, far. I try to make her do the things that I know she needs to do, but she refuses to yeah. because she thinks she's too cool for school, like TikTok. Oh, I no, made her made, get a TikTok. TikTok's fun. TikTok's like fun. It? Thank you. I like do you it. like it? I, I resisted it for so fucking long. I thought the platform was very cringy. They're, Me they're too. very offended. They're very offended. They, oh, I've okay, had okay. several of my videos oh. already like deleted. Oh, um, see, I have like, too, yeah. but I had yeah. guns in mine, and all of a sudden they disappeared. I, don't, I, and I, like, I follow yeah, community guidelines, and my shit still gets deleted. So I'm like, God, y'all are a bunch of little 
bitch. When I first heard of TikTok, <laughs> it was from my younger siblings, and they were all doing some weird ass yeah. dance. I'm like, where the Everybody's fuck? Where did these dance come from? Right. Like, where is and the they original were like, oh, content? Look, TikTok, like, right? And I was like, this yeah. is a kid thing. And then yeah. Gary V, <laughs> Gary V convinced me to go on TikTok. Oh, he pumped right? you up. He pumped me up. You, like, you got to do it. And I got obsessed with it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna yeah. download this stupid app. Let's see. Okay, this is actually kind of funny. Now every day I'm watching it. Like, yeah, I'm up you just three a.m. Yeah. scrolling. People it's are, just like Vine. It's just like Vine. Yeah, I never got into Vine, but people are so creative on that app that I'm sitting there laughing my yeah. ass off going how did you think of this right yeah. how did, and it inspires me Same. too right yeah to like it's good want to come out yeah. with something funny and I, I like TikTok because it's like Vine in the in a way that on Instagram I feel that you could have 200 followers and you're never gonna gain mm-hmm. but TikTok's algorithm yeah. is different in, in less than it's I very authentic two and a half yeah. months I got almost 400,000 yeah. followers yeah I haven't even months. looked so from but like yeah. one last I was over 100,000 and I was like from one video and I was yeah. like this is fucking nuts but that's the thing is is so if someone is scared and that's what I tell people on TikTok all the time I was like I don't care if you think you feel stupid I don't care if you think you look stupid mm-hmm. everyone on this app, app looks fucking stupid yeah. <laughs> we do. so that's what we're on here for and you know and it's great when you see a creator who's never done a video and they can gain a following over two million and they've never done this before Mm -hmm. they just decided to be creative and i love that that some dude in iowa who lives in his mom's basement can move out because people realize he's funny yeah you know so i i love that for that app but i don't feel like that is the same with twitter no no no, instagram all all that stuff if you're a small creator if i started a new page and no one knew who i was Give me 10 years and I would not have that many followers. Correct. Right. Well, so the true. problem right. is that yeah. when Facebook took over, took over Instagram and all that stuff, they're doing it to make money. They're doing it for the big celebrities. They're doing it for fucking companies. They're doing it for a way to make a buck. Whereas TikTok, which is like for everyone, right? right? Yeah. So that was probably the best part about it. And I love the creative outlet that these people have. Because I love making videos too and just doing stupid shit. And I think it's funny and yeah. sharing it with other people. Um, because I think we all have to have a little bit of an outlet to express ourselves. And that's one of the best, like to me, one of the greatest ways to do it. Right. Oh, for sure. And I, I I try to tell people that I'm like, if you don't understand how, if you're creative and Mm -hmm. you just be creative, if you can make yourself laugh, not only would it up or up your mood, but it's going to make you more a a better person Mm -hmm. because you're actually getting thoughts and stuff out there. So that's why I love TikTok because anybody can be a celebrity on there. Yeah. Didn't you you do it? Yeah. Didn't you go like viral or something? Cause Dan was telling me, Dan was like, dude, she like posted some video and it has like millions of followers. And I was like, I like, I'm not surprised. Um, yeah. I, I started about a month, a month about a ago. month ago yeah. and I have 122,000 followers, but a Damn. few, of, a few of my videos have millions of views. Who's See? in those videos? Who what? Oh, who's in you're, those in videos? you're in one of them. Is Charlie in one of them? You're in one of them. For sure. <laughs> Wait, um, wait, hey, woman! You, you posted it give on your me um, credit. <laughs> your IG, didn't you? Yeah. It was the one of you two just bantering in the car, right? Yeah, Is that the one yeah. that I've in my life I have never received so much hate as I have <gasps> over that that video. Wait, wait on why? TikTok, people are saying on TikTok on IG, people are saying like, "Don't worry, King, she doesn't deserve you." They think I'm actually mad at him. They don't know that I'm active. because she's such a good actress. She oh can my turn god! Over being because we work so well oh together. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say something, she yeah. has, she has to react. Yeah. yeah. And she's so good at switching the flip to act like she's mad. Yeah. People, I have to go on there and be like, she's not actually she's fucking mad. Not. Why do you think you saw her the next day with me? Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. What do you, what do you, but, don't worry, King. But that's how yeah. people are oh online. My God. Headstrong King. Like, oh she doesn't deserve you. Like, all this oh, shit. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, Charlie yeah. loves it. Dude, like, really? <laughs> Dude, so and then from there they start attacking everything about you, your character, oh, yeah. your appearance. It's like we talk about this fuck on the her show. Anyway, uh, yeah. her nose is shaped weird. Yeah. Why are her feet oh, like my that? Gosh. Just like really? Yeah. So yeah. actually, by the way, somebody I'm hit me. Die, but you're yeah. like, well, do you have a million <laughs> views? Because I do. Exactly. <laughs> so I got hit with the best insult ever the other day because I I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost almost yeah. 100 pounds. Yeah. Congrats. So I used to, well, thank you. Yeah, all, awesome. all I had to do was almost die. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, but, I, I should be laughing, but I'm laughing. Sorry. <laughs> but, so I was a bigger dude and someone commented on one of my videos that it just said, fuck you. You used to be fat. I was like, what? And I didn't know how to respond to that. I was oh, like, is that a compliment? I and the, the next comment underneath it was just "fuck you," and I was like, "Oh, he meant it as an insult." He was oh, like, God. "Fuck you, you skitty fuck." Okay, I got it. All right. Okay, got it. Got Isn't it, got that great? It. You go from my entire life of being an obese right? child, I yeah. get fat fuck, and now when I'm finally skinny, people are like, "Oh, you skitty fuck." You like, skinny like, fuck. Really? Can't yeah. win. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't win. God. <laughs> oh my God. A comp, it's not fair. A Snooki was fat and then got skinny. 
And everyone glorified her. Yeah. Oh my god, you look amazing. You yeah, look great. Yeah, exactly. I get nothing with her little snooky poof yeah, and fuck everything. Fuck you, skinny bitch. What a weird, <laughs> what oh what a weird insult, though. You used to be fat. I did. <laughs> fat. We Cute. talked about this yeah. before too. That when people start attacking your looks, they have nothing they else have nothing to talk else about to talk with about. you, right? They're just a fucking angry. It's bitter because you're people. fucking perfect. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, right? Yeah. So they it's just, just want an empty argument. Get basically. to you like, oh, you fucking your teeth are crooked. Like I know. I don't want to get braces. Fuck yourself. But we exactly. talked about this with Tara too, where it's like it hurts when they start talking about your character. Yeah, yeah, the character is where that, it is. Looks, but like, don't I don't fucking care. Anything yeah. you can say about me, I've already thought twenty times when I looked Literally. in the fucking mirror sure. this morning. Yeah. Anyways, See, I, I look for the best insults. Those are the ones I look, and I will re. Tweet them, yeah, I like will, the whatever most like, creative, yeah, the like, most oh, wait, creative from people about you, yeah. Somebody said, uh, What the fuck is wrong with your teeth? What do you brush your teeth with? Fucking dynamite. I was like, That's pretty good, that's good, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. You go, and then the uh, shame. someone said, Um, your mother must have queefed and shit while you while giving birth to you. I oh my like, god, that's pretty good. <laughs> I was like, That's pretty good. I like that you know, one. <laughs> but I love the creative insults. Like, I like the that. stupid ones are like, you're a bitch, or you have exactly. to pay for these women to be with you. Exactly. I'm just like, ah, fuck you, whatever. Yeah. Because that's what I tell all my friends. Like, you know, I guarantee y'all's DMs are just oh, horrible. Yeah, horrible. I, just, the, I get level. dick pics every day. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure you, oh, I actually yeah. don't. I have really like a any. whole highlights reel on Instagram oh, where like, my God. I get bored. So when people message me fucked up things, I say something back. So they'll be like, oh, you I fucking you. dumb bitch. I'll be like, your dad should have pulled his dick out and stained those sheets instead of s- society. And I'll just get weirder and weirder. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't believe you survived a fucking coat hanger for nine months. Like I'll just get fucking as dark as I can with it. Until- I yeah, love when you post them, them too in your story. Yeah. Cause I'm like <laughs> reading the entertainment. <laughs> see what you're doing. Gets- Weird, See, I've learned weirder. a way easier way. What? If you just go on my page right now and you were like, fuck you, suck my dick, I just respond with, uh, my dog has cancer. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. It doesn't. One. Yeah. But that yeah. stops anybody in the it tracks. It really does. Because you could be like, fuck this whore. And they're like, a dog has cancer. Oh. Oh, I know, like it's a sad. dog. Oh, you can't, are you okay? And then you guys it. become best friends. So that's I how I it immediately hits your yeah. heartstrings. <laughs> <Yeah>. I like <laughs> that one. I'm gonna do that from now on with every rude comment. My dog has cancer. I, I guarantee. Like, what the fuck? I guarantee. Right now, if Trump went on Twitter and said, "My dog has cancer," everybody'd be like, "Oh," <laughs> and he would not that's get that, shit oh, for an shit. entire that's, week. That's fair. That's probably fair. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'd be really surprising if that happened too. Oh my god. You guys, I know you're super busy. You're guys and gals about town, so we will let you go. But before we do, we usually do a drinking broette of the week, mm-hmm. uh, and we let the guests kind of nominate someone um, that inspired you, helped you, that you love, that's awesome, that's fucking... Charlie's is going to be a joke one, and then Charlie's is Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Charlie's is obviously you just Nicholas need to meet him already. Nicholas Cage's mother. She birthed him. She birthed him. We're going to go back Messiah. to grandparents. We're going to go. Oh all my god. Way. Um, that you know, just someone that is fucking oh. badass, supportive, okay. and sweet. So, do you have someone? Could be mom, dad. Oh man, sister, all my friends, friends are garbage. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna be hard for you guys. Oh sure, shit, but- man! <laughs> well, the best person I know is sitting right, <laughs> right? here. So, oh, John Lennon over oh, here. Oh, John Lennon. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna nominate John Lennon. Here's why. Okay, he is. Um, he's a super vegan, very sweet, okay. nice articulate well very thoughtful person and okay. he is put up with with all your guys. Of oh my god i'm so shit. sorry john lennon he gets to filter Good job, john it and edit it and he's you're very they keep Thank you, you busy Thank that's you for sure for, you've been very kind so <laughs> we appreciate Sweet. you have been yeah. really great actually this whole time this hour that i've known you yeah. and so um <laughs> my Charlie, woman, my what woman? Is it? Um, or someone it could be it, it, it could this be is gonna sound really uh weird and uh kind of sappy but uh for the first time in a long time i cried uh last week watching a movie and i i'd say it's harriet tubman the fact that she um started freeing slaves and freed 17 slaves by herself and then got up to 72 slaves by herself freeing them with nobody but her and then um being one of the only female uh generals and conductors of the underground railroad freed over 275 uh captive slaves on a shore um she died uh she died many years later but uh yeah um i don't know i feel like um that won't that that's 
probably Harry Tubman is one of the most influential women in the world. So I'd probably say Harry Tubman. Dude, I, wow, like I was that. not and expecting dude, that. I, I literally, Remember when he said when Harry Tubman, was, I was like, and part of me was kind of like, are you kidding me? Right yeah, now? I didn't I know, know if he was going for a joke. Do you remember when people would talk about her all the time and then we just kind of stopped talking about it? If anybody gets a chance, watch that new movie, Harriet. Is it really good? I see that. It's absolutely amazing. And like, I've always been one of those people who, that's my, one of my main goals is like, I hate racism. Yeah. I hate, you know, the stuff like that. So like that, that story is really moving to me. Uh, just being one of the first female conductors of the mm-hmm. Underground Railroad and probably one of the only. But yeah. To free that many slaves and do it just because oh, you yourself were a slave. From, exactly. And she was born into slavery. She mm-hmm. didn't become a slave or bought. She was born into it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, like it's a crazy, crazy movie. Yeah. And I didn't know if a lot of people know that when she ran away from first becoming a slave, when she ran away, she left her husband oh, that wow. she was married to. And her mother and father to become free. When she became a free woman, everybody told her not to go back, and she went back and rescued to get her entire family. Aww. So she's she's a badass. She's she a fucking badass. badass dude. I love it. Damn. Oh my Damn gosh. It. Wait, did, did you that like, change my joke? answer? Like, I'll show you. Oh, it's not gonna be a fucking Damn. joke. It's gonna be the saddest fucking best oh one ever. Oh my god, you're on one today, uh, right now. Um, Heather's like, me. can I can I change, change my answer, my... please? <laughs> well, oh sorry. no! Well, now I feel like an <laughs> asshole. I'm sorry. Well, John Lennon, John you're, Lennon. you're still in the running, you're but still, yeah. We will you didn't free, free any you, slaves. You know, slaves. we will definitely, <laughs> we will definitely give you <laughs> peace. Uh, you want to do round two of it? Yeah, you um, absolutely can. Not, well, I can't. No. <laughs> okay. Not gonna no. compete. No. Okay. No. <laughs> you guys are awesome. This I know. So fun. We really, really appreciate you guys both coming yeah. on, yeah. um, and supporting and just being fucking awesome. Oh, and blast. we're honored that yeah. you guys came on. So thanks. And what are you guys gonna fucking do right now? Go look at some buttholes and drink. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Why wouldn't we? Be? I'm gonna yeah. try to drink out of a butthole. I don't know if They're, that's gonna oh, be uh, possible. Cactus. Godspeed. Wait. So before, Godspeed, my friend. before we leave, where can people find yep. you guys? Where can they find you? Social media? Uh, like, you can find me on uh, Instagram's Charlie Classic and uh, TikTok's Charlie Classic and YouTube's Mr. Charlie Classic. There we go. Beautiful. Jazz, you know? Mine is just Heather Lynn O across the board. All the shit. On all, all the, the shit. All, all the bullshit. Things. Awesome. Because I know they're going to want to find you guys. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Don't Google my name. <laughs> <laughs> type it directly into You're the social media. Perfect. <laughs> right, awesome. Guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Most definitely. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes. Yeah.